What's up legends, Helldivers 2 has just released a minor update, yet a really good one at that, and today let's check out the key points from today's updates and talk a little bit about it. First off, the R36 Eruptor received a change, it's got its increased explosion damage by 40 and removed shrapnel from the explosion. This is to avoid cases in which players would randomly one-shot themselves or their teammates in a huge radius around the explosion. So. We're not exactly sure how much damage the shrapnel could realistically do before this update, but I think Eruptor users in general should be happy with this change. Because the Eruptor was never really effective at AoE damage, there are simply far better choices out there. The beauty about the Eruptor is the punch it packs and the hefty amount of damage it can do with each shot. And now, that damage has just gotten increased a bit further, which should make it even more so effective at dealing with larger units, and you can return to relying on your support weapons to deal with the little guys. I will be testing out this Eruptor later on today, so we'll see how that goes. As far as the enemies go, the Shrieker has had its sight and hearing range slightly increased. This may sound scary, but I think it's not going to have much impact overall, but there's only one way to find out. Also, the gunship has had its hearing range increased slightly, and I'm actually quite surprised they can even hear anything in the first place. But anyways, now onto the biggest part of this update in my opinion. They have now officially fixed the dot damage bug finally. In case you were unaware, fire damage caused by your napalm airstrikes, incendiary mines, incendiary grenades, and breaker incendiaries were not applying unless you were the host of the game, making a lot of these weapons nearly irrelevant in group play. Now, I wouldn't get too excited yet. As you may know, I cover almost strictly solo play and for a long time, the incendiary breaker and the napalm airstrikes have been not only the best choices I can bring to terminate worlds, but they've actually been by far the best choices to bring in terminate worlds. I suspect now that everyone's going to be dealing fire damage together in group play, we're going to see a major shift in primary weapon choices and stratagem choices. And I deeply believe those two picks are going to top the charts in such a high amount that Arrowhead is going to feel pressure to nerf those two picks. So honestly, I suspect a nerf incoming as they receive data following this patch, so I wouldn't get too attached to these picks. But until then, enjoy the incendiary breaker and the napalm airstrike, cause god damn it they're powerful. Either way, this is an amazing fix and a fantastic step forward. Now, they've also patched the Plasma Punisher bug that was causing people to kill themselves when wearing the Shield Generator pack with the Punisher Plasma, and they've also finally fixed a misalignment on weapon sites. The most notable fix is going to be for the Anti-Material Rifle, which had a pretty bad misalignment and it made it a lot harder to handle units like Hulks, when trying to hit their little eye weak spot. They've also fixed the stem sound playing, even when you're interrupted doing so, and also major orders with a kill task was previously counting the entire squad kills once per player, meaning it would multiply the score by the numbers of people on the mission. And you know what that means, right? We didn't kill 2 billion bugs, boys. Our scores were being multiplied. If you were in a team of four that got a total of let's say 2,000 kills, it was counting that 2,000 kills for each player, meaning it was scoring 8,000 kills. So realistically, we probably only killed less than a billion bugs or so. But they think that's gonna stop us? Hell no. Joel, give us another 2 billion bug kill major order and watch us Helldivers hand them to you on a platter. <laughs> Moving on, Helldivers can no longer land on tall rocks in the Horde Defend missions, and Helldivers can no longer land on top of bug pillars in the Deactivate Terminate Control System missions. Also, there was a fix for the reinforced stratagem not being present if a Helldiver leaves the session before readying up, and then hot joining the active session, there were also various crash fixes. I won't read through them all as I'm not exactly sure which one of these crashes were happening the most as I generally have a pretty stable experience, but here are all the crash fixes included in this patch. We've got crash fixes to when diving into missions, when all tabbing, on game shutdowns, and a few more. We should be overall be getting a slightly more stable experience now. We've also got a lot of social menu fixes with this patch. Again, I'm unfamiliar with a lot of these as I don't usually use the social menu, but here they are listed out. Give it a quick pause to check them out. 
And lastly, for today's update, they fixed the total purchase counter on the right side of the robotics workshop section. It no longer displays 7 out of 8, despite all stratagems being purchased. And they've also resolved some edge cases related to Steam app ID related errors on login. And lastly, before we wrap up this video, an announcement was made shortly after the update where the community manager Twinbeard released a statement over the current state of the whole PSN issue that's been going on. And the key part of the statement goes. We don't have any updated information about the account linking yet particularly of anything PSN region related. There are ongoing discussions between parties and we at Arrowhead acknowledge and respect that it will take some time to sort out all the details. I'm just glad that this issue is nearly all behind us and as long as Sony doesn't make any crazy last second change, I'm pretty happy. I really don't want to see Helldivers 2 suffer like it did with that recent issue, so hopefully that's all behind us now. But only time will tell, so let's hope for the best. So that's all for this quick update video. I'll be catching you, Helldivers, on the next one. Peace.